Well, we are going to start a new class. Let's wait for everybody to connect. William, hello. Teacher. Hello, William, how are you? Hello. How are you, William? My day was I by side. Oh, really? Yes. Why, my friend? Uh, uh, how do you say mejor artista? Improve. Back, I am starting to improve. Yeah, that's always good. That's always good. We need to improve all the time. Yes, teacher. Uh, by, uh, by Monday, really, for the class. That's good. That's good. Let's hope everything is okay for Monday. Welcome to the class, William. And take it easy. Don't worry. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Oh, thanks to you for being here. It's great. Thank you. Let's see. Marcela, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. I'm just fine. Just fine. What about you? How was your day? Um, so I'm tired. Yeah, it's yeah. Finish All up right. with a long day at work. Yeah, and uh, my arm hurt because I uh, I had the vaccine yesterday. Oh really? Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, well, actually, today I also got a vaccine, you know, but I got the influenza vaccine today. Oh, you too. Yeah, yeah. but that uh, don't hurt and don't have so effect like the others. It's better. Yeah, yeah but. What can we do? You know, it's very good and it's very important to. Yeah. 
for the health to get the vaccine and family. I'm sorry. It's better for her health and family to take care. Yeah, it's always better. I mean, you gotta protect your family. You gotta protect everybody. Yeah. So tell me, what is the plan for tomorrow? What you gonna do this weekend? Hmm. Relax in house at home uh, with my family. I, I like staying more in home. <laughs> at home. At home. Yeah. <laughs> so this weekend you are not going out. Uh, what about Sunday? What are you going to do on Sunday? Um, Maybe go to the supermarket and with my brother. You go to the supermarket. Do you usually go to the supermarket in the morning or in the afternoon? In the afternoon. In the um, afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so do you think that time is better for you? Yeah. Uh, how do you say cuando el sol baja? When the sun goes down. When the sun goes down, I can walk to supermarket and come back at home walking too. I like more walking than in bus. Oh really? You like walking? Yeah. Yeah. And in um, supermarket it's so near to my home. So it's better. I like more walking. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Well, welcome <laughs> to the class. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, Walter, how are you, Walter? You better? Hi, teacher. Good evening, good evening, everybody. Oh my God, and I had fever and yesterday, teacher. You were running up. Okay, you say it like this, look, I have you can say, I have some fever, or you can say, I was running okay, a okay. fever. You can say it both ways, both are correct. I was running a fever. Yeah, I was running a fever. Yes, it's, uh, I, I go to the second vaccine COVID. Oh, so those were the effects. Yes. And, 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 and they, and I, I feel a, a little better. Today? Yes, today. And today I feel a little better. Okay, that's nice. It's good to hear that. Excuse me? It's good to hear that. Que bueno escucharlo. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Welcome to the class, Walter. But by the way, by the way, I'm sorry, Walter. Uh, what about for this weekend? What you gotta do? Oh my God, uh, the week, the weekend. Oh, I didn't leave it early, my work. Okay. And, and we went to the go to the beach. Oh, really? You're going yeah. to the beach this weekend? Yes, yes. That's and, nice. And to the beach, the, the Plaza Marinera, in oh, Port cool. La Libertad. Excellent. That's great to hear. So you are going yes. to go have fun. Yes. You're uh, going with the family? Yes, my family. I hope, uh, I hope 
uh, they can they can go a white bit a white bit or planets. Oh, that's nice. That's ah, nice. Okay. And, Excellent and to hear Sunday, that. And Sunday, uh, I clean the house and go the shopping. Oh, go to the shopping. And then shopping and afternoon, I'll be going to play in soccer. Oh, and the nice. night, and the night, I will see the selection national. national. Okay. Okay, look, you say it like this at night, at I night, will watch. I, I will, will watch. watch. Excuse me, I will the, watch. You can say it just like this the match. Oh, okay. Juego, el partido. Oh, okay. At night. And we watch the match. Yes. Perfect. That's great. So you got all your weekend plan. Yes, teacher. That's nice. Yes. That's nice. You're very organized with your free time. Excellent, Walter. Thank you very much. And welcome. You're welcome, teacher. Hey, Susanna. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Doing, good evening. You doing better, Susana? Yes, teacher. Thank you. That's nice. That's nice. And tell me, what about you? How was your day? Um, I'm working. <laughs> Continue working, teacher. Keep on working. It's a, it's a, it's a, va para largo, muy a long. It's going to take long. Okay, a lot like that. Give me a second. Um, but the but the uh, week weekend. I yes. I I think um work <laughs> to work. <laughs> you gotta work on weekends. I know. It, it, I have yes, but uh, I don't like. It. <laughs> oh, you have to work, but you don't like it. Well, yeah, I understand. Yes. <laughs> you. you were expecting to to rest a little bit on the weekend. Yes, I I am the Monday. <laughs> the better, yeah. Uh, how do you say? Mejor pedir perdón que pedir permiso. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> how, how do you say? Uh, per, perdón, no sé. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. That's how you say, perdón, forgiveness. Hello. Well, let's see, let's see. Ah, oh, there you are. Thank you very much. Yes, forgiveness. Teacher. Forgiveness. Yep. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, so you're gonna be busy this weekend. Well, the good thing is that you're here in class tonight. Thank you very much and welcome to the class. Okay. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's see who else is around. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jesse. Hi, teacher. Happy day. 
Yeah. <laughs> this is the day, teacher. This is the day. This is the day. Um, but not, not at all because um, I was without energy today. I didn't. Oh, really? I didn't want. Um, I didn't want to work. That's correct. Yeah, I didn't want to work, but I tried. Okay, well, and tell me, I am asking everybody about the weekend because today is conversation day. What are you going to do during the weekend? During the weekend, tomorrow, I don't know. Uh, tomorrow, maybe I go to Sintuntepeque, I think. All right. I'm going to visit uh, my, I'm going to visit um, my boss mother house. I don't know if correct the order. My what? Boss mother house. Mother house. Uh, no sé. <laughs> Como la casa de mi yeah, yeah, mamá yeah. de mi boss mother. But I don't know if, if, oh, if no. it's my the boss's, current my order. boss's mother. My boss's mother house. My boss's mother mother house. And but I don't know if 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 can be possible tomorrow and and for sunday i have to go to the supermarket for buy the food for the month and i have to i have to do the house chores uh, yes. Uh, and uh, what else? I don't have a schedule for this week. Tomorrow, maybe if I don't go out, I I will I will stay at home. I will stay at home. Okay, that's cool. So that means that you're going to take it easy and relax. Yep. That's nice. That's actually nice. I mean, it's always good to stay home, to have a little bit of time for ourselves. It's very important. And I mean, it's good to, to enjoy time with the family also. Yes, or maybe go to the park. Maybe go to the park. Yeah, that is my uh, frequently activity. Yes. It's near, it's, an, it's entertainment for my dog. Entertaining, entertaining. Entertaining. Entertain. It is entertaining for me. Uh, it is entertaining for my dog and it's me. good. Yeah, it's always good to make, uh, I mean, to go out to, Relax for a second. Okay. Well, welcome to the class. Okay, teacher, thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see who else is around. Hmm. Hey, Claudia, how are you? Hey, teacher. Hi, teacher. I'm fine, you? Here, you know, same old story as usual. Okay. What about you? What's what's the plan for the weekend? I'm asking everybody, what's the plan? What's you going to do? Where are you going to go? I if you are going to go out. No, I stay at home. I, I need to take exam and, and prepare class. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, you were, you were passing exams. You were testing your students, right? Yes, teacher, and I, um, I was sick. When? when I, sick? Okay, okay. I went sick. 
No, no, no. I was sick, but when? I was, uh -huh. I was sick and, and I need check exam because I rest three days. Really? Yes, teacher. Well, but the good thing is that now you are normal, right? Yes, Jeff. Okay, and that's very important to, to be good, to, to be healthy. Yes, it's more, it's more important. Okay, and tell me, how many exams are you going, uh, are you going to be checking this weekend? How many students you got? Um, I need check six six or sixty oh okay okay um there are many teacher around what Around how many students you got? Around, around um, two, 200 is correct? Yep, around 200 exams. Yes, around 200. Well, that's a lot. That's actually a lot. Yes, but... But and when the, when are you supposed to turn in the grades? What? When are you supposed to turn in the grades? How do what does this mean the grades? Hold on. Grades, not us. Ah, oh, okay, okay. When are you supposed to turn in the grades? No, understand, teacher. Sorry. Hold on, hold on. Just give me a second. My question is this. When are you supposed to turn in the grades? That's the question. You get it, Claudia? Yes, it's here. Cuando se supone que presente las notas. Um, the last, the last week. Next week. Next, okay, okay, next week. Okay, well, that means that you got around this weekend. You got a lot to do, my dear. Yes, teacher. Well, thank you. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Ambar, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, Ambar. How are you? Mm, I'm fine. What about you? Well, here you know, same old story. Nor day, nor dollar. But we gotta do about it. Tell me, Ambar, could you fix that problem you were having with the platform? Uh, I try it, but but I always I always have the same mistake. I don't know. Perhaps if you could do but, it in another in another computer, perhaps it's the keyboard or it's the teclado. Would you try in another um, computer or in your phone, perhaps? Uh, well, I will try in my computer because I 
always I I do my homework from my cell phone. Okay. Try and let me know because if it's if it continues giving you problems, what I'll do is I'll try to get one of the guys from from support to help you. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okie dokie. And tell me what's the plan for the weekend? Well, tomorrow in the morning, I will work uh, from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. After that, I, I will bat to my pet. In the afternoon, maybe I will go to the mall because I need to buy some, some, some stuff some oh some stuff yeah yeah it's yes. correct if you say some stuff yes so it's going to be like a normal weekend relax yes i hope to don't rain <laughs> okay 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 nice nice i'll give you this phrase i hope it we say it like this. I hope, oh, hold on. I hope it doesn't rain. That's the expression. Um, Look. I hope it doesn't rain. Sorry. I I forget it, it is a third person. <laughs> yeah, I hope it doesn't rain. Well, let's see. You know, it's it's winter. And it's El Salvador here, the weather is crazy. Exactly. Well, Amber, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Let's see who else is around. Hey, Francisco. Hi, teacher. How are you? Just fine, teacher. My work. Oh, you are working today? Oh, yeah. You told yes. me you got to work today and perhaps tomorrow all day long. Yeah. Uh, teacher, the, the days change. <laughs> tomorrow, I, I, I rest. But the Sunday, I am working all day. Oh, is all day what? or all yes <laughs> on sunday on sunday you gotta say on sunday on sunday teacher is correct say uh, all day or all day long you can say all day or you can say all day long okay, now the difference is this look uh, I'm going to work all day. It's okay. It's grammatically correct. Uh, it's well used of the vocabulary. You are using well the verb, subject, and everything. Now, if you want to sound like more native, like more natural, you gotta say, "I'm gonna work all day long." Okay. Or you can say, "I'm gonna work." the whole day. The whole day. That, yeah, that's actually the way they speak the whole day, all day long, the whole day. Okay. Thank you, Chair. Tomorrow, uh, I think uh, I, I am going to my parents in, oh, the, really? in the afternoon. Yes. Where do they live? In Acajutla. Oh, okay. What part of Acajutla? In the Colonia Los Laureles. Colonia, hay algún. Yeah, the neighborhood. Neighborhood. Okay. Los Laureles. Please uh, give me some 
give me some bearings. bearings. Give me some bearings. Uh, ubíqueme. Okay, teacher. Uh, um, in the first, first street. Uh, okay. That's the one that goes, uh, let's see, the one that passes by the by the market, right? Uh, no, teacher. Um, the Akahutra uh, have, has two entry. Yeah, two entrances. The first one is the, the one that you get the you get the row like divided in two sides, right? I remember. No, is it the, the second, the second entry? That's the second one. Ah, okay, yes. perfect. The, um, in this case, uh, Coronel Laureles uh, is located in the first entry. Oh, now I get it. Yes, teacher. And I am, uh, I am live in the uh, near Second entry. Okay. In Bye. the neighborhood Rasa, Rasa dos, Rasa two. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, I know, I know the Rasa. I know there. Uh, I, actually, I was. I spent a couple of months there. Yo pasé un par de meses ahí in that neighborhood. Uh, really, teacher? Yes, it's yeah. a good, uh, a good neighborhood. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Uh, yeah. Very quiet. <laughs> It's a very quiet. Yeah, I remember. I remember being there. Let's see. I spent two months there. Yo pasé dos meses ahí in Raza. Uh, well, actually, all around Macahutla, but I was like staying in Raza for two months. But it was in 19, 1998. 1998. Yes. Yeah, in 1998. How do you say it? Oh, you say it like this. A long while ago. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like Rosanna says. Ooh. Yeah, that's why I was I was asking you to, to help me with my bearings because I mean I was I was sitting there and I had some friends there. I mean, I stopped visiting them because I moved and my job changed, but I used to visit there a lot. Actually, I used to go to Acajutla. After that, I used to go to Acajutla like uh, twice a week. Twice? Visit some friends a week. Every, every, every month? No. Twice a week. Let, check it out. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my bad. Twice a week. Yeah, twice. Twice a week. Dos veces en una semana, no? Yeah, I used to go twice a week. Yo solía ir dos veces a la semana. Ah, semana. okay. Okay, teacher. <laughs> I yeah. understand. But, but mostly I used to go at night, you know? I used to arrive there around like, uh, what? 8 or 9 p.m and come back to San Salvador between 2 or 3 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> and very, 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 very early. Pitch. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was young and I was with some friends, actually with some of my dad's friends also. We used to go also there in Macahutla, we used to go uh, hunting. We used to go hunting rabbits. Hunting rabbits? In, yeah, by in Kilo what, Cinco. In what area, teacher? <laughs> by Kilo Cinco, by Kilo Cinco. Ah, yes. Yeah, yes. A, friend, a friend of us had a, had a big, big lamb, and we used to go hunting rabbits at night there. It was fun. <laughs> In, in in this moment in the in this area uh, there are a uh, neighbor yeah i know i know 
you know where we used to go hunting rabbits? By the gas station in Kilo Cinco. Oh, in, in the uh, D -D -H -D -H -L. Yep. Actually, at that time, I think it was a chill or something like that. The owner of the of the gas station was an engineer, like uh, like Nicolas, the ingeniero agronomo, and he he was the one who took us, uh, who used to take us uh, hunting. Oh, oh okay, teacher. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. I was young, pretty young at that time. <laughs> Long time ago. <laughs> yeah, it was a while ago. Yeah, you know, I I used to have a lot of friends there. Regretfully, I stopped visiting them. Lastimosamente dejé de visitarlos, but I I used to have a lot of friends there. I mean, I used to go pretty regularly. Okay, teacher. Well, thank you. Nice talking to you. Thanks, teacher. Welcome. Hey guys, be patient with me because today is speaking night. Today we are not gonna be working on the on the manual. Today we are going to be speaking. I'm gonna be talking to you. You are going to be having, creating and giving me conversations. But today is not about writing. Today is about applying, okay? So we are going to be working like that. I'm going to be like asking questions. I'm going to be seeing how do you respond. And I'm evaluating also uh, your fluency. And don't worry, by, by evaluating, I mean just taking into an account how you're performing, OK? So let's see who else is around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm just great, just great. And tell me, how did it go? Did you get it? Yeah, actually um, about, well, we have a, a little uh, trouble because- oh, really? Uh, yeah, uh, we first talked that all will be, uh, that they will make a um, transfer or okay. deposit at the- yeah. a transfer, bank. a transfer, a bank transfer. Uh, no, yeah, that was uh, what we asked for first, but they say they had the money in cash. In cash? Yeah. Oh. So uh, the client went to the bank and because the amount is a little big, they didn't want to accept the money because all the things of the law of against uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laundering. Money, money laundering. Money laundering. Money laundering. Yeah. And yeah, finally, that's a problem. Uh, one of the or well, the principal problems, I guess, is that the client have the money, but in a uh, hundred dollar bills. Uh, bills. Yeah. So it yeah. it looked a little more suspicious, maybe, for yeah. the banks. I imagine, I imagine. But finally, yeah, you, we said- You gotta well, make a, you may gotta make a declaration, a lot of stuff. Yeah. So finally, we made a little uh, turn to the way that we're gonna take the project, because now, because the reason of uh, the the money actually yeah. the, because the reason they don't they can't uh, make the transfer they will pay all the materials and to the workers and Ooh. they will make a transfer to us 
for a my, um, a lower quantity. Yeah, a lower quantity to and for management. Manage management. Yeah. Yeah, for management. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I understand you. I understand you. Yeah, it's gonna be complex. So they are gonna they're you gotta say it like this. They are going to pay to the providers. Yeah, but actually uh, because uh, we want uh, to help them a little. We accept the money in cash, but we can't uh, put in any account of ours because we will have it uh, uh, cash in the house and uh, spend it over by buying materials and paying the uh, the workers, the workers, yeah. yeah. You need a safe, my friend. Sorry? You need a safe. Ah, yeah, sort of we thing. are, yeah, we are thinking about one, in buying one tomorrow. Yeah, it's it's always better. Yeah. Remember, when, when it comes, when it comes to money, to money, it's always, I mean, it's always, uh, Better safe than sorry. Remember that. Yeah. So we will buy. We will buy it tomorrow, and save the money in there, and uh, hopefully the same client will make uh, will make a ranch at the beach. Okay. So uh, we will talk about. Uh, if there will be the same um, situation way or the same situation uh, it will be a little harder because uh, right now the engagement or how do you say anticipate contract of the the first installment The first installment was about uh, $7,000. But okay. in the case of the ranch, it probably probably will be about $3,500. And oh, sorry, no, no, $3,000. No, no, no. Yeah, $3,500. $3, it's $3,500 is $3,500. Yeah. Okay, well, it's gonna be interesting. You got a lot of work to do, my friend. Wow, he broke. Okay, so, it's yes. Sorry. Uh, uh, you, uh, you froze for a second. Yeah, I call was incoming, but I uh, I will talk to later yeah okay. so i i was saying that that amount of money is really huge and i actually i believe it's a great we say it huge huge for us to take that yeah it's a huge risk to have the, I don't know, every uh, uh, incentive. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you the last. Hey, como se dice incendio? A fire. Oh, and maybe a fire. Uh, and with that amount of money in our uh, being, our responsibility, it will be a huge uh, loss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you need a safe. You need a safe. That's mandatory yeah. right now. You need a yeah. safe. Because otherwise, uh, you can get in trouble. 
Yeah. Well, interesting talking to you, Daniel. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Hey guys, I am so sorry. I was so excited talking and talking and talking that I forgot the attendance and nobody remind me. Come on, guys. I'm in trouble. Let's see, let's see. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Yes, Ambar. You didn't tell me, Ambar. Hmm. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Claudia Lisset Ramos Barrientos. Present. Thank you. Uh, hold on. Claudia Lisset Ramos, oh, present. Uh, Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. I could swear that I was talking to Francisco a few seconds ago. Okay, uh, Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Teacher, I'm here. Thank you, mister. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Janira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present teacher. Thank you. Me, teacher. Yes, I said your name, Maria Luisa. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, Roxana, hello, how are you? Teacher, sorry, I don't hear my name. Yeah, I also said your name, Carlos Murillo. Okay, Malia, dijeron. <laughs> Mal Carlos Malia, say present. No. <laughs> okay, okay. Roxana, how are you? How was your day? You was remembered the match, Carlos. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> mm, I think that my day it was very interesting because I had a lot of meeting. Um, I have a long meeting with my uh, boss. Oh really? And yeah, because I I needed to check some errors um, for the closing. Okay, errors, errors. Errors, and I need, I needed to, to do some changes in the platform. Okay. And so I need to, I needed to talk with her a lot of time, but everything is okay. I think that maybe next week, if, if I, si yo fuera, ¿cómo sería? If I will. No. No. Okay. That's a beautiful expression, the one you are giving me. I'm going to explain. Hey, guys, this is for all of you, so pay attention. This is very, very interesting. Now, Roxana, you got us in something here, and it's going to be interesting. Okay, can you see, guys, the white screen? Yes. Okay, usually we have what we, what she's talking about is something called uh, it's part of the subjunctive mood. Okay. 
falar, né? Ok, she's talking about something that is part of the subjunctive mood. Es el modo subjuntivo. What is the subjunctive mood? We are talking about stuff that is contrary to fact. Contrario a la realidad. Okay, it's not real. It's not real, okay? That's the subjunctive mood, something that is contrary to fact. It's simple, it's not real, not at all, okay? Now, in the subjunctive mood, there appears uh, usually, if you remember, we have, for the past, we say, I was, that means, uh, yo fui o yo era, okay? And then we got, I was, you were, right? Then we got, he was. Now, something that is very important for us to remember is this. We are talking about the verb be here, okay? And the verb be for the past got two different ways to express it. We got, when we are conjugating it, we got was and we got were, but, when we get into this expression, into the expression wish, this is very, very important. Why? Because the expression wish uses, all the time, uses the base past form of the verb. Now, what is the base past form of the verb? When we are talking about, in this case, we are talking about the verb be, right? In this case here, the verb we are talking about is the verb be. Simple, right? We are using the verb. Hold on. We are using the verb be. Now, the base form of the verb be, in this case, is, you're gonna see, the base form for the past of the verb be is not was. The base form in this particular case is where. So, whenever I say, Whenever I say, if I were, or you say, in this case, you can also say, I wish I were, you see? In this situation, in both of these situations, I explained in this, I was explaining this about the wish because it's the same rule that applies here. Estaba explicando lo del wish porque es la misma regla que aplica acá. You see? The same, exactly the same rule. If I were, I wish I were. Can I erase this? ¿Puedo salirme de acá? Or do you want a, a picture of it? Teacher, I, sorry, I remember that the expression that I use in the past is I wish I wish I was and I uh -huh. wish I had no no you said I wish I was uh-huh okay. and I and wish I had and must be I wish I were mm -hmm. okay. Desear hacer. and mm -hmm. if you say if I were si yo fuese you're going to find if I was, but it's not correct. The correct form is if I were. If I were you, so you first you still. Okay. If okay. I were you, if I were you, Roxana, I would pay attention to the explanation. You were not taking notes. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Take and you tell and you tell me no problem teacher it's already in my mind and i tell you oh 
I wish I were you to have everything stored in my mind. You hear? I wish okay, I were. Yes, I wish I were. So, um, it's similar to use, um, yo desearía, no, perdón, yo, yo, sí, no, yo desearía. Creo que esa expresión era. ¿Cómo es yo desearía yo des en inglés? Uh, I wish, sé que es I wish. Yeah, but it's not complete. Yo desearía que. In my words, I try to say, yo desearía que Janmira me ayudara en mi cierre. Okay. I wish Janira. Hey. I wish Janira helped me. Okay. I'll show you how in the in the chat. You were telling me, I wish Janira help me. Check it out. I wish, then you get an, the subject, Janira, then the verb in past. In past, yeah. Okay, I wish Janira helped me, okay? I wish Fernando participated more in class. I'm kidding, Fernando, it's just, a, it's just an example. It's just an example. Fernando was like, what? Come on. I know, I know. Okay. So, you get uh, it, yeah, I get it, I get it. Uh, in my case, I wish Janira helped me in my closing because uh, I know she is working a lot in another closing, but I, I can uh, do. Look, look, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, but. <laughs> Carlos Malia. Yeah. Okay. How, do you, how do you say Duncan in English? Yeah. It's a joke. It's a joke. Yeah. I don't know how to say this. Le está haciendo la barba. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Well, let's hope she can help you. Yeah. But uh, always maybe... I help. <laughs> Maybe my, my closing, uh, it will be a start in Monday or Tuesday, I don't know. Uh -huh. And so I need to- be quite busy. Yeah, now um, I was uh, checking a lot of uh, uh, database in the system yeah. because uh, I, mm. I was do. checking a lot of data. I checking a lot of data because uh, I do I did a lot of changes in commissions. So now I need to check it, and maybe tomorrow in the morning when I will work in, uh, uh, I am checking uh, another data. I will be. I will be. Oh, well, no, 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 no. It's okay. I am checking. Tomorrow I am checking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. You're talking about a near future. It's yeah. fine. And maybe in the afternoon, uh, I will to supermarket with my mother. Okay. And I don't know. So in the laundry, in the night and at Sunday night, at, at night, night so in the laundry at night and Sunday, uh, maybe I will stay at home. Okay, cool. Thank you very much, okay. Roxana. Quite interesting Thank talking you. to you. Thank you. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Shanira, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Well, you can hear her. I really busy because I working in closing in some areas like incoming and I forget again. Uh, aggressive. What is the the word, teacher? Come on, Janira. Come on. What is the word you say? I, I forgot egresos. Expenses. Expenses. Ah. 
Jesus, I forgot this word. I don't know why. I know this word, but okay. I don't know. Remember, gastos is the same. Expenses. Yeah, I know. I I just I I just uh, always because in the system uh, is more common in English. Then I I see this work. Uh, Continuous, constantemente. Ok. Quite often. I see this word quite often. Quite often. Muy a menudo. What does mean? Frecuentemente. Okay. Yeah, let me explain something. Eh, volviendo a lo que les explicaba en un inicio, perdón que lo explique en español, pero es un puntito bien interesante. Si tengo un adjetivo y antes del adjetivo pongo quite, estoy diciendo mucho o muy. Que normalmente lo entenderíamos como very. Ok. Ok. But in some situations, in some situations, I mean, if you say very, very often, sounds like redundant. Se oye como muy redundante. But if you say quite often, it's more common. And it's better, okay? Okay, okay. So quite often. Then you see the word quite I, often. I know this. Yeah, quite often. But I don't know. Maybe I. Uh, I tried it. Then this is the reason that I forgot the word. Or, or maybe my man is. Okay, speaking. hold on. I got another expression for you, class. She's very tired and that's why she says, ah, maybe I am very tired and that's why it sleep. sleeps out of. You can say, I forget. And that's why I forget. Now, if you want to sound like, like the way Americans speak, you say it like this. I am very tired and I think that's why it slips out of my mind. Oops, one P, I'm sorry. One P, just one P. It slips out of my mind. Slips is deslizar. But when you say something slips out of my mind, you are saying, I forget something. Okay. It slipped out of my mind. Se me fue. Yeah. Yeah, exactly that. Exactly that. Se me fue. Yeah, I know. Then maybe this is a reason. But I, I hear I working, I working for you and another people, Roxana. Uh, maybe we finish the class on Wednesday. Maybe. Wednesday. I, Wednesday. Wednesday. When Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. I it's a fair. How do you say it's better? I hope I, so. I hope, yeah, I hope. Oh, hold on, hold on. I hope so. I hope so. Okay. I Así hope lo so. espero. Oh, eso espero. Okay. I hope so then. But I'm, I'm here. I'm here ready for the class. I'm listening. i learning. Oh, it's okay. Today is Friday and well, I work hey. in weekend. Okay. I will work in weekend, but it's okay. I don't have plans yeah. for the weekend. I work you only, have... only work. Well, welcome to the club. Yeah. Uh, me too. I'm just I'm just waiting if they confirm uh, class for tomorrow morning. If not, I gotta do another stuff. Uh, but I still got work. Actually, I need some hours. Perhaps some of you can lend some hours. I need more hours in the day to finish working. <laughs> because this weekend is gonna be crazy for me. Thank you very much, Anita. Nice talking to you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Let's see now. I've talked to too many ladies. Jose, hello, Jose, how are you? Hi, teacher. I, I feel very tired. Oh, really? 
Yes. Tell, tell me because why. Did you have a long day at work? Because now it was a very busy day. Yes, it was a very busy day. And tomorrow I will go to work for eight years. And what? I must finish the activities that I could not today. That I didn't today. Okay. I, okay. And what about Sunday? What you gonna do on Sunday? I'm afraid that I didn't today. Mm, I, I will not leave the house. Oh, really? Where are you going? Oops, Jose, I'm so sorry, but I think we're having problems with the connection and in your case. I will just do some shopping to the supermarket, maybe. Okay, going to the supermarket. Well, that's good. I'm sorry, Jose. I will stop with you, but your connection is giving you problems right you, now because I, I hear you guys. Yeah. Yes, yeah, cut. Ouch. Sorry, Mr. Okay, you're sure. giving us feedback. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That happens with the connection sometimes. Let's see. Fernando. Hey, Fernando. Hi, teacher. How are you? No, let me let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. Working. Oh, not today, no. Oh, come on. It's a, it's a miracle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Look at that expression. Let me guess. Let me guess. Okay. No, today I, I was a, a relaxing day because. I finished the, the task of the question month and I started a new month. And oh, really? um, I think I, I, I told you um, another time about my, my, my schedule. Yeah, yeah, and, and the, you are covering, and you're covering now for your coworker. Well, your whole department is covering for her, right? Right, uh, but I, I coming to you about my, the change of funny of my schedule. It's a yep. short Friday. Yep. Yeah. Today I uh for fin you finish finally. Oh finally, sorry. <laughs> Today finally I I can leave from work early. Okay, so what time did you finish working today? Uh I don't I don't I don't I know I didn't lead from my work according to the schedule, but I I did lead at 2 p.m. I do around around 2 p.m. Oh that's cool. Yeah. So you relax today in the afternoon. Did you take a nap? Uh no, no, not really. Uh, finally I came back to play football. Oh really? Really? I went. I went back. I went because if you say I came, you're talking about right now. I went back. Okay. I went back. Oh, I okay. went back. Okay. Oh, really? Football or yes. soccer? Uh, soccer. So soccer. Remember, if we if we are speaking in American English, you say soccer. If we are speaking in British English, you say football. Oh, okay. okay. I wish I were a, a player of American football. <laughs> Man, that thing is <laughs> dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous, but it's uh, it's a good sport. I, yeah, I like I mean, it. I like it too, but the problem is that oh man, so many rules. It's uh, you got so uh, many rules. It's well, actually, actually, with with the, with your friends, you can play tags. 
with your friends, you can play tags. Do you know what is tags? tags? Yeah. Tags. Um, if you go, if you go to, to the park with your friends, you, you bring your football. And that is not a ball. I don't know why they call it a football, but it's not a ball. It's not a ball, actually. Uh, nah, nah, it's not a ball. But, but it's called a football. If you bring uh, your football and you get with your friends, perhaps you have seen in a movie or, or in, a, in any TV program that they are playing in the park, like among friends, but they are playing with some like uh, little pieces of cloth con algunos pedacitos como de tela o towels, eh, white or yellow, by, by their belts, a la altura de la cintura, llevan colgando ¿Eh? como unas telitas o unas toallitas, ¿ok? In the park, <coughs> friends. And they don't actually tackle each other. What they do is they pull the little tag. Tag is... That means vignette, okay? like in the, in, the, in the chair, yeah. Like in your shirts, in your pants, in, in shorts, okay? So when okay. you pull it, when you pull it, it means that that person is already tackled, okay? Yes. So that way they play and it's not that dangerous because you don't hurt each other. I mean, but still it's, it's heavy. I mean, it's a heavy sport. Yeah, American it's very heavy. heavy. Yeah, it is. And but it's, I mean, it's, a, it's more entertainment. Yeah, but the problem, you know, what's the problem for people like me is that I can just be, or I can just play on the, actually on the fencing. I cannot just be, or a runner, or a or a kicker or a quarterback because I am too thin for that. Guys in the in the <laughs> defense, they are big. Yes. Yes. This is the, the, the interesting of the of this sport. The quarterback has to be uh, I don't know, a good player. Yeah. A good thrower. Yeah. I mean you gotta have a good arm. Because the way yes. you the way you 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 throw the ball is very interesting. Like the way you place your hand in the ball. I mean, that's for starters. The way you you put your hand in the ball because the the threads, las costuras, you got like four, right? They gotta be in the middle between your fingers. That helps that when you throw it. The ball doesn't go like this. The ball goes like rotating around itself. La bola gira sobre su eje. And that's oh. how you really, really throw it. It's very interesting. Yeah, it's very interesting. Do you watch the game? Well, you know, I used to play a little bit. I used to play a little bit, but as I tell you, eh, a long while ago, I was young at that time, you know. Yo fui joven, yo fui joven. <laughs> and I was when around. The, when the NFL, it's begin. Yeah, yeah, jugábamos con piedra. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, okay. yes. But, okay. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, return to, to the topic. Uh, regresando yep. al tema. Back to the topic. Okay, back to the, back to the topic. Today I was... Uh, a relaxing day, finally, after, I don't remember when, when was the last time. <laughs> you could relax. When was the last time I could relax or I was able to relax? Oh, okay. When was the last? Yes. Okay, well, thank you very much, Fernando. Okay, thanks to you, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Silvia, hello, Silvia. Silvia, you here with me? Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm good, thank you. What about you? Well, you know, here, kicking it. Okay, that's nice. Same. 
Yeah, same old, same old, but you know, still here. That's what matters. Yes, yeah, okay. Okay, what about you, my dear? Oh, you gotta work. It's weekend. Weekends are good for your business, but for you. Yes, we are we are uh, full tonight and the whole weekend. Oh really? Yes, most of the time we are always full. We're always uh, full. So that means that all the rooms are already booked. Yes, all the rooms are already booked. Okay, I'm sorry, Sylvia, for the rest of the class. I, what I what we say what we mean when we say that all the rooms are, are already booked it means that they are already uh, people made reservations on the rooms. Cuando decimos que todos los cuartos están booked, todos están reservados. Okay? Yes. But when you say that they are already booked, it means that they they got reservations and in some cases they are ready they are paid already, right, Sylvia? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so it's gonna be good for business. What's your schedule on Sunday? Tell me. Um, Sunday I have the evening shift, and tomorrow oh, Saturday I have the that's morning shift. That's the bad shift. one. That's yeah. the bad one, right? That's the bad one. Yeah, because you cannot really, really like. Uh, well, you got Saturday closing and month. No, you got Sunday. Sunday closing and Monday opening. Yes, that's it. Uh, and you are not expecting to close on Sunday at eight. Sometimes we, I have to close at eight thirty or nine because we are uh, receiving clients in the in the restaurant some some days. Yeah, too. but at night I think you you are like. Wasted already. Yeah. I mean, you I feel am... like <laughs> like dying. Yes, I feel tired at night. About okay. seven and between seven p.m. and eight p.m. It's really bad for me. I feel okay. tired. I imagine. I imagine. Just hold yes. on a second, Sylvia. I will explain another word to your classmate. When I tell her, guys, when I tell her that. Uh, when I tell uh, Sylvia that she's around nine, she's wasted, that expression can be understood in two different ways, okay? Esa expresión se puede entender de maneras distintas. When I tell her like, oh man, you're working a lot. I imagine that at nine, you are wasted already. Está like, muerta, pretty tired. But also I can tell, hey Sylvia, you were drinking too much last night. I mean, you were drinking alcohol, beer. I mean, you were unstoppable. And around midnight, you were completely wasted. In that case, wasted means drunk. Okay, it depends on the context. Okay, Sylvia, let's go back to you. Sylvia. Okay. Hello. Okay, tell me, tell me, tell me. And when you finish at nine, do you go walking on your own to your house? Yes, I have to walk on my own. Okay, isn't it dangerous? Excuse me? It's not dangerous. No, it's not dangerous. I can walk um, at night and everything is okay. I okay. walk about 15 minutes to my house. And that's why I ask you, do you work on your own or do you got co-workers or somebody with you? No, I work on my own. Oh. Because oh. my class, my co-workers have a different shift. Uh, the ones who work in the, at the bar, they close later. And the ones that work in the kitchen and in the restaurant, they, they finish later too. So the receptionist used to close at earlier. That's why. Because I, I am in the reception of the hotel. Uh -huh. That's why That's why you, you leave a little bit earlier. Yes. But they okay. have to work later because when they receive an order at last, uh, last time, um, 
last minute. Last minute, yes. When they receive an order last minute, they have to stay longer. I imagine. Well, oh, very interesting. Thank you very much, Cindy. Nice talking to you. You're welcome. Hey, Wilfredo, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. I'm fine. How's everything? I'm worried. Uh, but I, I, I feel a little tired, but that we can, that we finish it. But tomorrow we are going to rest at home. Oh, really? you, you're, not gonna, you're not gonna go work tomorrow? Oh yeah, but in the afternoon. Oh. Okay, you're gonna go work in the afternoon? No, 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 I know. I work, um, hardly ever I go to work on Saturday. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. great. Because we, um, it is depend, depend on the teacher, because. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We say, the way we say it, the correct way to say it is this. It depends on. It depends, it depends on. on. Okay. Let me let me write it because it's easy to forget. It. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. Today's class is mostly about vocabulary. You notice we depends are like talking and getting on. new vocabulary. Okay. Yeah, it depends on. I was listening to with another classmate, and it is okay, teacher, because we can we can get. Uh, a good um, form to, to speak because sometimes we use some words that but maybe it could be wrong, but it is good for us because we can learn very well, teacher. Okay, so you were telling me, my friend, that uh, some you just, I mean, you rarely go to work on Saturdays, and when do you go? What does it depends on? I mean, what's the reason? It depends on budget. Oh. Because if the, if the budget it is um, more than, than the capacity that we have in the department, in packaging department, we need to make overtime during the week or go to on Saturday. Okay. Yeah, hmm. interesting. Um, but many people prefer go to Saturday because yes. in, in the afternoon it is it is hard to back to home because uh, to get back home to get back home. Um, yeah, I imagine I or to return home to return home to return to home. Yeah, yeah but, I imagine traffic is terrible. Uh, yeah, actually in El Desvío de Pico. Yeah, they are building the new, the new, the new road. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah, the, the people told me uh, yesterday in the morning. Hey, yesterday it was, it was hard to, to get. Well, sorry, will you repeat it? Uh, when, when to we return, say regreso, to person, return. To return uh, yeah. home. When they return at home, yeah, um, it was difficult. Many people told me that they arriving at home arrived at home around seven, eight p.m. And what time did they finish working? Um, four, four and thirty. Ooh, from four to eight, that's a lot. Yeah, but teacher, I guess that. Mm, around the Salvador, it is the traffic um, every day. Okay, is, okay, okay, is, uh, okay. All, all around, all around El Salvador. All around El Salvador. All around. All around El Salvador. Por todo el país. That's what you mean, right? Yeah. All around El Salvador. Okay. Uh, today, teacher, in the afternoon, when I came to the to my house, I I had to be 
I had to be in traffic around one hour to Metro Centro to my home. It is near this two five minutes driving when the traffic it is it is easy, but today it was ter terrible because uh, uh, over there uh, traffic. But yeah, uh, too I'll, many I'll cars. Think, there's yeah. too many cars. That's why. Yeah. But well, thank, thank you, Wilfredo. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I need to, to move along. No, no, no. Thank tomorrow you very much. Is, tomorrow is going to be weekend. We can. Eh, we can. How do, relax. Say, how do you say reponer, teacher? Oof. Like uh, when, when or oh, cargar baterías. Yeah. To 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 to. Hmm. Okay, well, that's to charge batteries. Okay, when you say it like that, it's exactly to charge batteries. Okay, but uh, hold on. But the problem is that you are trying to you are trying to express something a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know that. Uh, let me let me remember. Let me remember. I know a I know a phrase for that. Don't worry. Don't worry. I know what a phrase you, for teacher? that. What, what about you, teacher? This... What are you going to do tomorrow? Work. You are. Uh, how do you say? Uh, can we say addict al trabajo? Yeah, sure. There's a word in English for that. And is this look? Workaholic. Let's see. Workaholic. Okay. Yeah. But Workaholic, teacher, if you yeah. if you enjoy your job, you never, never you are going to job. Yeah. You, yeah. Well, thank you, Wilfredo. Welcome, teacher. Let's see. To you. There's Maria. Hello, Maria. Where are you? Maria Alejandra. Hello, teacher. <laughs> How are, are you, Maria Alejandra? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm just fine, just fine. Tell me what's for Sunday. What you gonna do? Um, teacher, uh, I don't have a plan. Maybe uh, my boyfriend lent me his car and, this, and I will visit uh, my mother. Yeah, only that. <laughs> okay, and what about if you don't get the car? Um, my boyfriend. Uh, um, the army? I don't know. Will take me. Will take me for my mother's house. To my mother's house. To my mother's house and I stay here. And if my mother um, want to visit my grandmother, I take a Uber. Mm. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. What about Saturday? What you're doing tomorrow? Uh, all these Saturdays, I have a long day, all day long. A long day. A long day because I start to 9 a.m. and finish to 6 p.m. Okay. Now, if you start at 9 a.m., tell me what time do you do you wake up on Saturdays? <laughs> mm, I wake up at a. <laughs> eight, uh, eight, <laughs> no, maybe I um, put a lot of uh, alarms. Um, many, many, many alarms. Yeah, many I got alarms. You. <laughs> when I the got difference you, to you. fifteen minutes. <laughs> Okay, I understand. You. I understand. You. Interesting. <laughs> 
Well, be sure to be ready tomorrow for work. Thank you very much, Maria Alejandra. Welcome. You're welcome, teacher. Okay, let's see. Nestor, Maria Luisa, and Carlos, I'm so sorry, but I need to move on because there's still one activity that we need to do. Okay, guys, yesterday you were supposed to build up a conversation, right? So let's see, Roxana, who was your partner for the conversation? My partner was Janira and Carlos. Okay, you got it ready? Um, I don't know. <laughs> we don't structure the conversation, just talking about some uh, ideas. Okay. But we didn't uh, do the structure. Okay, no problem. Let's do it right now. So, okay. Roxana, Shanira, and Carlos, please. I want to hear your conversation. I want to hear you talking. Who starts? Janira. Janira starts. Okay, Janira, you start the conversation. What were you talking about? She, she always say me for all. For, all that. for everything, for everything. For everything. Okay, let me see. I talked with Carlos and Roxana that in our company, uh, Roxana and me, uh, we have problem with the procedures because okay. uh, because the the area maybe doesn't have a good communication. Then uh, I suggest that the suggestion. The suggestion that maybe we need uh, make a manual manual for forgive forgiving forgiving lineamientos teacher instructions or guidelines forgiving. guidelines for, okay for giving guidelines then I think that it it could be better. Uh, follow guidelines that give nothing. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. And what do you the think problem, about it? Yes, uh, The problem now is uh, because sometimes the people uh, did some uh, changes in the system, but nobody support that so we don't have a manual to follow the process and we don't have uh, some supports that uh, changes in the past so it yeah is it, it will be better is if all the uh, department have a support that all of the changes for audit or just for a uh, give some answer for a process in the future because now uh, for example uh, i have a lot of uh, troubles because i need uh, i need to try to understand what happened with some rules in the system but nobody knows Okay. Because the because the 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 coordinator I, I don't know yeah, uh, the coordinator. he is sent in the company now. Okay. Well, thank you very much. What about you, Carlos? Tell me what was your input in that conversation? Must have been difficult. Carlos, I don't hear you. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> uh, I I talked with uh, Janira and, and Roxano. I think uh, more than you make a manual, for example, 
you have to be a regular training to the people because sometimes um, when you change uh, on any person in any department, you can forget that, that people need um, um, and be a training uh, because uh, if you only only give the the manual, the, the people don't regularly don't read the manual. Uh, and yeah. it, that is important. You have to uh, make a plain training or I don't know. A training plan. Okay, a training plan. Okay, that person needs. Okay, okay that, that person, person needs. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, it's true. I mean, training is very important. Thank you very much, guys. Well done. Now, let's see. Let's see. Oh, my dear Ambar. Hello, Ambar. Yes, teacher. Your partner was Marcela, right? Exactly. And where's Marcela? Go on. I did check. Oh, there's Marcel next to you on my screen. Oh my gosh, I'm blind. <laughs> okay, guys, did you have your conversation ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Sort of, sort of in a way. Okay, yeah. I, I will start. Okay. Wouldn't it be better if the selector won last night or tonight? <laughs> Yes, that's uh, that's that's what will be amazing because the game is important to pass the World Cup. After oh, the conversation oh. where, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, oh. I hope to <laughs> won the next matches because I have a big dream is I will see the selecta in a uh, World Cup. Oh, really? Yeah. That's your dream? Um, it's only for it's, conversation. <laughs> it's, it's an example. Oh, come exactly. on. Um, um, actually, is uh, no a big dream, but it's a wish. Is okay. uh, how do you say sería un orgullo para nuestro país? Oh, you say it like this. We we will be proud as a country. Nice, nice expression, Amber. We will be proud as a country. We country. will be proud as a country. Yes, uh, actually, isn't 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 not my big dream, but it's a a wish in my heart. And yeah, I, I mean, think I... that uh, everybody in El Salvador, I have the wish uh, or this wish. Yeah, well, now, now the way they are playing, a lot of people I hear they got uh, not just the wish, they got expectations. Yeah, yes, because the possibility. Um, I think it's possible. I hope okay. to, uh, they uh, or the, the players. How do you say sigan a ese ritmo? Okay. Keep that level. Keep that level. Mantenga Keep that nivel. level. Yeah. What about you, Marcela? Eh, <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I think that select uh, uh, has improved that that before and the king yesterday was was good not win but was yeah, good. Not, a, 
not a win, but it was okay. Well, thank you very much, ladies. Yeah. Excellent. Thank Excellent. you. Thank you, teacher. Actually, your conversation was quite natural. That's good. Okay. It, it is now, good, teacher. Listen to ladies talking about football. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice. It's nice for a change. Now, let's see. I got Claudia and Jose Osorio. Hello, guys. Please open your microphones. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. And tell me what you're going to talk about. It's uh, about a, a dialogue, short dialogue. Okay, let's do it. Okay, uh, I start. Hi, Claudia. How, how are you? Hi, Jose. I'm fine. I have planned to go to, uh, to go for a walk to Guatemala next week. Oh, it would be better if you visit our country. You're right. What place do you recommend me? It would be better for you to visit the Ruta de las Flores. Why not the Sur City be better? Because I live in Huachapan now. Yes, it's a beautiful place and you can surf in the Tunco Beach. Thanks, Jose. I will go to the Sur City on weekend and I will go to the Tunco Beach because it's important that I visit our country. Okay, You're right, well. Claudia. Excellent. Well done, guys. I didn't know Claudia was a surfer, but that's cool. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, that's... well, it's cool. I mean, it's cool. It's nice. It's nice. Thank you, guys. Well done. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Walter, where are you, Walter? here let's see fernando and nestor hi teacher hi teacher hello guys let's do it okay uh we have a short conversation perfect uh, hello fernando hi nestor uh how are you i'm fine and you I'm fine too. Um, I want to talk with you about the introducing the new product. Okay, I listen to you. Okay, we need to present a new product. Uh, I have some options to explain to you, but first I want to know, what do you think? Um, <clears throat> the last time we presented a new product, we distributed sample, samples of it. Wouldn't it be better if this time we use a promotion that I like, buy one and get two, or we apply a discount in the total sales when customers will buy two units of the new product? Oh, um, actually it would be better if we apply buy one and get two, um, and beside apply 5% discount in the total sales. I totally agree. This new product could be our star product. Okay, that's it. Perfect, to you. Perfect, guys. Well done. Excellent. You use everything. Okay. You use the vocabulary seen in the in previous classes. You use the grammar expression, uh, good pronunciation, just a little something. I wanted to talk to you about introducing a new product. That's the way we say it, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Francisco and Maria Luisa. Where is Francisco? Francisco, Francisco. Hello, teacher. Oh, there you are. Man, I don't know why I always lose you. Okay, Maria Luisa, hello. You hear? There she is. Hi, hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. So you got your conversation? Yeah. 
uh, we, we, our conversation is um, over a schedule or other, other, uh, other plans. Okay, tell me about it. Hi, Francisco. Hi, Maria. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. Francisco, uh, what do you think about the first step in the manual? And I think the first step should be dress code. I think it would be better um, prevention or of accident in suffering. For me, it's very important. Mm, yes, you have reason. Then the next step may be getting to know the menu uh, because we must um, actually aquatic uh, with, with it. Sounds good, but wouldn't it be better addressing customer because the serving to the client is basic, it's basic. Okay. I agree. Then the next step is setting a table to the canting wine. Yes, I agree with you. Great. Good. So, so the next step to, uh, schedule be for following the schedule. Mm, I think would it be better addressing kitchen personal? because it's very important that we have a good communication with they. For example, if we don't take it to ordering, well, to the kitchen, it will be a dish that the customer is not one and will uh, lost for the restaurant. Yes, yes, it's a good point. So the next step schedule me uh, following the schedule and request, request a chief change. Fine, finally, about deep tips and taxes, what do you think? What, you, yeah. what do you think? Hello, Maria. Uh, then the index of manual is um, number first prevention of accident in suffering. Uh, number two, dress code. Number three, addressing customer. Um, number four, setting a table. Number five, the canting wine. Number six, greeting to know the menu. Number seven, uh, addressing kitchen personnel. Number eight, following the schedule. Uh, number, number eight, requested a uh, chief change. Number 10, about the tips and taxes. Yes, totally agree. Great job, Maria. Okay. Okay, Francisco. Only that. Only that? Come on, guys. That was a lot. Thank you very much. Now, look. Uh, yes, Francisco, we say it. Yes, you're right. Okay? Yes, you're right. That's the way we say it. And... Acquainted means familiar itself. Okay. Yes. And also you, you have acquaintances. When you use the word acquaintances, you are talking about conocidos. Okay, teacher. In the in this case, the correct word uh, 
and it better a quant. And repeat me, teacher, please, the word. <laughs> acquaint, acquaint. 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 Yep. Hey, it's okay. That word is pretty correct. It's a nice word, actually. And an acquaintance is uh, conocido. Like I can say, oh, Roxana. Oh, yeah. She's not my friend. She's just an acquaintance. You see? Okay, teacher. In, in the conversation, what uh, uh, should be the correct word? Acquaintance. It was it was well it was well used. Estaba, estuvo bien usado. Ah, okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you, Nicholas and Jency, please. Hi, Jency. Hi. Uh, we have a short um, conversation. <laughs> Start, Nicholas. No problem. Yes. No problem. Hi. Jensi, I am doing a server training manual. What do you propose? It would be better if we start with the schedule for explaining what time to arrive and go out. It's great. Well, will you prefer to continue with the rest call? Wouldn't it better if we continue with prevention of accident and safety? Because with this, we explain the kitchen rules. That's a good idea. Let's think about rules. And only that's it. <laughs> Ta -da. No, it's Finish. okay. It's okay. That's Perfect. All. No problem. No problem. It's okay. And then I got Sylvia and Susana. Tell me, guys. Hello, oh. Sylvia. Oh, how are you? All of that. Hello, Susana. Sylvia, I have to prepare pre the manual uh, procedure for um, company personal biosecurity measure. Um, uh, Sylvia, can can help me with some ideas? Ah, oh, that would be nice. I can help you to create a manual if you want. What do you think uh, we can start with? Um, if that uh, procedure is, can can I, I add in the manual so the people continue to take care of their Service. Uh, you are talking about uh, prevention of accidents and safety? Um, yes, and also um, uh, add, uh, for, for the COVID, COVID too. Okay, that would that would be nice, and then we can continue uh, about setting a table. That would be a great idea for because our uh, staff needs to know about how to to serve a, a table. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you, Sylvia. Okay, you're welcome. If you if you need any help, just uh, let me know, Susana. Okay, thanks. Perfect. Now, Susana, the expression is, could you help me with some ideas? To, to can help me. No, look at the chat, the, the Zoom chat, the chat okay. the Zoom. Could you help me with some ideas? Ah, okay. Can you help me with some idea? Could, could. Could. Yes, remember that when we use could for our request, we are being very polite. Recuérdese cuando usamos el could en una petición, estamos siendo muy amables. Ah, oh, okay. Thank could you very much. You have... Okay. Thank you, guys. Now, Walter, Walter and Daniel, could you do it? Could you do the conversation yesterday?
Excuse me, teacher. Me, me nos sacó y nos dijo que, que no íbamos a... Oh, yeah, I remember. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just remember your participar. situation. Yeah, I yeah. remember your situation. Okay. okay. Yeah, it was a very particular <laughs> situation, yours. Now, let's okay. see who hasn't participated. Marta, Marta, you have not. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Who's your partner? My partner was Fabiola. Fabiola, are you available? I think. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. Then I want to hear you guys. Okay, uh, first of all, Fabiola and, and me uh, review the subject, the training manual. Uh, okay. It would be better if we change order, but uh, talk about uh, the first uh, subject, the, the manual is dress code. Uh, it's okay for us. Um, because when we are a new in a new job and you entry in the in the first day uh, is the first step follow so is that okay fabiola <clears throat> I will be very to spe specify the dress code. It's very important. Um, it's the representation of your company. Um, Sometimes, uh, is the way to persuade either to sell more. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no problem, no problem. No problem. You, know, you know, that's quite interesting because nowadays uh, some companies actually they are like getting rid of dressing codes. I mean, no, not getting rid of dressing codes, but uh, getting like more lenient with it like they are not using uniforms some companies are not using it, uniforms no more i mean they just ask the people to dress formally or acceptable and that's it well guys uh, now i'm gonna ask you for opinions today was as i told you today was speaking let's see uh, from my point of view I have seen uh, a lot of improvements. Oh, by the way, Nicolas, I need you to stay a little bit after the class, please, if it's possible for you. I just remember. And well, I've seen uh, a lot of improvements. I have seen that some of you are using more vocabulary and also that you are applying, you're putting into practice the vocabulary the vocabulary we have seen in the last classes that's actually very important now if you notice today wow today we saw a lot of new words and that's good because i mean that helps everybody when we got the chance or the opportunity to get new vocabulary or to remember some vocabulary okay that's very important and I actually congratulate you on your performance during the class. I mean, the conversation, the one-on-one -on -one conversation that I was having with everybody was quite long in some cases. The conversations that I asked you to prepare were very, very, very good. And now, before we finish, I got a homework for you, okay? Okay, let's see. This homework is going to be personal. You're going to send it to me. Uh, actually, you're going to post it in the class. Okay, during the class. 
in the Zoom chat, not in the WhatsApp, in the Zoom chat, you will give me one suggestion for the class using it will be better. Okay. I want one suggestion from all of you. Okay. That suggestion is going to be sent in the Zoom chat privately if you want. Or if you want in the general chat, it's okay. Repito en español. La tarea consiste en que ustedes me van a dar una sugerencia para la clase. Okay. Using it will be better. ¿Dónde me la van a mandar? No al WhatsApp. Acá en Zoom, la próxima clase, on Monday. Okay. So, you log in to the class and start typing. Usted se mete a la clase y lo comienza a poner en el chat de Zoom. Okay. You got two options. You can do it for the whole group or if you want, you can do it privately just for me. O pueden mandármelo directamente a mí. Okay. Is it clear? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. That activity is going to, to, to help yes, me with teacher. two purposes. Eso me va a ayudar con dos propósitos. One is for you to practice, to see how you are using the structure, and also to see if there's something else that we can improve in the classes, okay? Well, guys, uh, let me get the attendance. But before getting the attendance, I hope you... I hope you have enjoyed the class as much as I did. I mean, today was speaking was a little bit different because we have done speaking practices before, but not this long. I mean, today we didn't see nothing else but speaking. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, for me, it was a very pretty satisfactory practice, quite interesting actually, to see how you are expressing yourselves. And to finish, just let me please get the attendance one last time. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Claudia Lisset Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Oh, he's here. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Yeah, uh, present Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Jose. María Alejandra okay. Barrientos Romero. Present Thank you, teacher. Fernando. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present Thank you, Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present. Present teacher. Thank you, Walter. Thank you, Wilfredo. William Giovanni Rosales Calves. Thank you. Present. Janiro Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Marcela Ibet, Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda Deodanes. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present. Thank you very much. Guys, I hope you enjoyed your weekend. I expect to see you on Monday. Bye bye. Have a good night. Bye bye. bye teacher.
Let's see, Nicolas, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, how are you? Here, 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 just give me a second, just give me a second. Uh, let's see, here, now we are alone. So tell me, Nicolas, how are you? How how do you feel the classes? Are you enjoying? Yeah, teacher. Yes, the I I am I am fine. Uh, the class is very good. I uh, listen to my my partners. Um, the pronunciation is very, very important for me, and I I have the uh, I have difficult with uh with pronounce uh, or a uh, interpretation of words. Okay, yeah, well, that's nice. That's nice. Is there a topic that has given you problems? Mm, in topics, I um, in this moment I. I I I was practice uh, practicing practicing I was practicing uh, uh, the class the topics all topics for for example okay. the was and can can't uh, would cold uh, I practice all the all the topics uh, we. We what we are uh, pra practice in the class. Okay, perfect. That's actually very nice that you have the opportunity to practice and to review all the topics. Now, uh, remember that you can also practice doing the exercises from the platform. I mean, you can take the exercises more than once. So the more exercises are not enough. And also remember that the Inglés Corporativo platform, you got the Centro de Ayuda. And in Centro de Ayuda, you saw where I click? See where I click? Okay. Down there, if you come all the way down, you got recursos académicos, grammar, pronunciation, vocabulary, okay? Like if you go to grammar and you got basic grammar presentations, intermediate grammar presentation, that is our level. And here you see, you got past progressive, infinitives, conclusions, used to, mm. future time clauses, phrasal verbs. I mean, that could be helpful for you, right? Okay. Also, of course. Also, let me let me show you something else. Also, if you come to the to the platform again, remember we are in the English corporative platform. You come all the way down to Centro de Ayuda. You see it here? Acá abajo estamos, Centro de Ayuda. If you come to the, to the Recursos Académicos and you come to the vocabulary section, that's the one that I am recommending all your classmates. A todos sus compañeros les estoy recomendando esta sección. Why? Okay. Look, look at it. Vocabulary, that's something that we really need. Esto es algo que necesitamos mucho, vocabulary. Look how many files about vocabulary we have here. Vea cuántos archivos tenemos de vocabulary. Mm -hmm. You got, I mean, if you want to talk about hobbies, if you want to talk about outdoor recreation, the weather, streets, highways. What about the construction site or the factory or the office? I mean, you got a lot of them and those one, could be helpful for you because I mean, remember, whenever you got uh, more vocabulary, you are able to express better, right? Okay, teacher. Uh, what do you What do you think of that resource? ¿Qué le parece ese recurso? Very good. I I don't uh, uh, watch. I don't watch the resource. I hadn't I hadn't seen. I hadn't seen, I hadn't seen. 
the Maybe resource, missed, right? Yes, I hadn't seen. I hadn't seen. Yeah, but I mean, it's a good opportunity. I mean, we have a lot of resource there. We can check out the vocabulary. We can try to put it into practice in our daily life. I mean, if you are at home, you can like start doing sentences like my mirror is big, my mirror is nice. You see, using the, it's very important that when we talk about vocabulary, you try to apply it on your on your daily life situations. Because that way it's going to be like really, really internalized in your mind. I mean, if you get a word, but you don't use it in a context that is like common happens for you, that vocabulary is harder to take hold. Si usted tiene un vocabulario y lo utiliza en oraciones, puede ser que gramaticalmente correctas, pero que no son parte de su realidad, tardamos más en que se nos queden. Mientras que si usted las usa relacionándolas con su diario vivir, es más fácil porque se vuelven más naturales. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's why I advise you, get the vocabulary and during the day, a lo largo del día, try to make a couple of sentences using that vocabulary, tratando de recordar el vocabulario y utilizándolo. Like if you are, if you are in your office, si usted está en su oficina, get a post-it and get a like two, three words, Ponme dos o tres palabras, nada más. Put it close where you see them. Póngala cerca donde la vea. Okay? And during the day, your mind, your sight is going to pass by. Su vista va a pasar por ahí. And perhaps there is a situation in the day where you can use that word. Quizás se presente una situación donde usted esté pensando algo y pueda aplicar esa palabra. Make the sentence. Haga la oración en su mente. Or write it down. That exercise is going to help you so the vocabulary will take hold. De esa manera el vocabulario se va a sentar. Why don't you try that exercise? ¿Qué le parecería tratar ese ejercicio? Lo voy a hacer, teacher. Lo voy a iniciar mañana. Hey, I mean, it's one exercise. Let's do something. Hagamos algo. Practice it like for one week. Si en una semana usted siente que como que no le está funcionando mucho, let me know. I'll give you another different one. Avísame y le voy a dar otro ejercicio. Uno diferente. Okay. Perfect. Sorry, teacher. Es mi, eh, de tareas. Eh, voy a revisar la plataforma y voy a ponerme al día también con lo que tengo pendiente. Let's see, vamos a ver, déjame ver. Let's see, Nicolás. Let's see, my friend. ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? Sí, me ha hecho la sección 1, tiene el 80% de la sección 1, tiene el 40% de la sección 2. Right? Eh, necesitamos, Nicolás. Para la próxima semana, para el día miércoles, no sé cómo se maneje sus tiempos. Si tiene tiempo durante el fin de semana, no es que durante la semana sería bueno tratar de avanzar. Porque el miércoles de la próxima semana yo voy a estar ingresando las calificaciones de sección 1, sección 2 y el midterm. Ok. Está bien. Ok. And remember, any doubt, text me. Cualquier duda, escríbame. Okay, teacher, thank you for, for the uh, refuerzo or no, recommendation. No, no. It's a pleasure for me. And whenever you need any help, y cuando necesite ayuda, don't worry. No es solamente espacio. I mean, you can text me and I can help you. Okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Have a good night, Nicolás. Thank you. Well, and that way we finished today's class. It was very, very interesting. See you Monday. Bye-bye.